Hi, I'm Keith Glass, and I really want to take this time uh, to just thank the so many volunteers that come out and helped us do a very grassroots, old-fashioned barbecue uh, down at the Monroe American Legion. Uh, we were fortunate we had between 250 folks come by to visit with us. Uh, and again, I can't say enough for those that volunteered to help, and, and I'm so thankful for those that come out. The barbecue was different. Uh, it's kind of like old time barbecue, you know. They, uh, we put the information out and invited folks, and uh, there wasn't a ticket price sold. And we were just so glad to see these folks uh, from all walks of life come out. We didn't target a specific group uh, in the county. We we targeted uh, the the general population in whole. And I tell you, I'm just really proud of, of what we got the results today. Having having said that and thought them. I want the public to know this race for Sheriff of Walden County is about the future of Walden County. It's not about Keith Glass or the current sheriff. It's about where we're going. I have always had an attitude and a leadership style of servitude. Whether it was serving uh, my profession as the president of the Peace Officer Association of Georgia or the serving as the president of the Georgia Association of Chiefs of Police. I've had the honor of being appointed to the uh, Peace Officer Standing Training Council serving on the Probable Cause Committee by Governor Deal. I currently serve as a commissioner on the Peace Officers Annuity and Benefit Fund, again appointed by our current governor. I have spent my career not only serving the citizens of Monroe, but also all those that are in law enforcement in the state of Georgia. This election is not about Keith Glass, it's not about the current sheriff. It's about the future of Walden County. We have got to have leadership that understands the importance of servitude. We got to understand the importance of cooperation, whether it's with other local law enforcements or with the governing bodies that we work with, whether it's the county commission, whether it's the city of Monroe Council, Loganville, Walnut Grove, Social Circle. We've got to serve with those in those positions, as well as those that are elected to state positions, where it's our state representatives, state senators. We have got to serve and we've got to come together and we've got to work toward a common goal. We can't do the old my way or the highway type mentality. Beginning May the 2nd, you'll have a decision to make. And that decision is about the future of Walden County. Walden County will see a lot of growth in the next decade. We're at a vital time. My track record of servitude is proven, it's evident, it's clear. So on May the 24th, I ask that you vote for Keith Glass, a leader that's based in servitude. Thank you.